What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to show you how using the 5 inch Dell Streak tablet uh, is going to work as a phone and how it's going to be stored if you have to put it in your pants, which is always funny to say. So sit back and enjoy the video. So let me apologize beforehand for the construction noise in the background, there's really no way for me to block that out. So Dell is just getting ready to release the streak to the US shores. It is a five inch Android based tablet. One of the biggest questions I've been getting on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube is how are you gonna be able to use this thing as a phone? Is it gonna fit in your pocket? Is it gonna fit in your pants? I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a pants on demonstration. So first let's see how this is gonna be used as a phone. So a five inch tablet, when you hold it up to your face, you can sort of get a profile of what that's gonna look like. It looks silly. Uh, the phone is not very heavy, so you're not going to have sort of arm fatigue. You may get some strange looks from people walking by. I've actually been using this for the past few days uh, as my phone. It does support uh, AT&T's 3G networks. People keep looking at me like I've got uh, you know another head coming out the side of me. It just looks very strange. But it doesn't feel bad, uh, which is quite surprising. The speaker is very well placed. The microphones are very well placed. You've got speaker and microphones right in the middle. Actually, as you talk, it's sort of a perfect distance uh, from your face. So you can see it's not as bad as you'd expect. I certainly wouldn't want to have very long conversations walking around the street with this. Uh, certainly if you're gonna use this as a phone, you're probably going to be tied to some sort of Bluetooth device. So either a Bluetooth speaker or a Bluetooth headset. So for a comparison, let me show you what it's gonna look like next, something like the iPhone 4. You can sort of see what it looks like. So here we've got the Dell Streak in one hand and we've got the iPhone 4 on the other. You can sort of see that there is definitely a size difference between you're holding it. Now what about some of the other tablets coming out? For instance, the 4.3 inch devices like the Evo 4G or the Droid X. Is there really gonna be that much of a difference? Sort of question that people are concerned about. So you got something like here, the Droid X on one side, and that's certainly a very big phone in its own right. Sort of put them next to each other. And something the streak doesn't look as big. So if you can get used to holding uh, a Droid X or an Evo 4G, uh, you could probably get used to holding the Dell Streak. So next question is, all right, I'm gonna use this as my phone. How the heck am I gonna carry it with me? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, seductively move the camera downwards and uh, we'll see how it's gonna look in sort of a variety of different situations. Probably not an angle that I film with very often, but I'm just wearing a pair of regular blue jeans, sort of average tightness. And uh, I've got nothing in my pocket right here. I'll go ahead and put the Dell Street in and sort of see how that looks uh, in a normal pair of pants. And you can see that it definitely makes an outline. Uh, you can, I, I can already see the jokes uh, flying here, but uh, you can definitely see that it takes up a lot of room uh, in the pocket. And as you walk, it's something that you definitely would feel uh, as you moved around. It's not bad, it definitely fits in jeans, but it's certainly not going to be the smallest unnoticeable device. Uh, if you look at one of the 4.3 inch devices, it will bring back here, let's say the Droid X, uh, it's much less noticeable. Uh, this is really where the 4.3 versus 5 comes into uh, the biggest play is when you're wearing uh, a pair of jeans uh, is really when you're going to feel it. I know a lot of people put it, say, in their back pocket. Uh, it does fit nicely, sort of in the back pocket. It usually hangs out a little bit, but you don't want to sit on it. Even though it does have a Gorilla Glass, odds are you are going to break it. And I honestly cannot wait to see the comments on this video, uh, mostly because of, uh, well, this here angle. Let's go ahead and try on a few other things uh, and see how they look. All right, so next up in my uh, technology fashion show, it's just a pair of shorts. Uh, how is something like the streak going to fit in your shorts pocket? And actually here, it's not too bad. Uh, sort of, I guess, a little bit on the baggier side, but you don't even notice it. it. Doesn't take up much room, and there's plenty of room for other stuff, you know, such as keys. So shorts are not gonna be a problem. If you're wearing a pair of cargo shorts like this, uh, the Dell Streak is certainly going to be uh, plenty pocketable. All right, so the geeky and possibly pervy wardrobe changes continue. We've got a pair of dress pants on. The Dell Streak is certainly aimed at professional users who probably are gonna be wearing pants similar to this. How are they gonna carry their device with them? Let's go ahead and take a look at how it fits in a pair of dress pants. And that just looks plain silly. I mean, the device is, is big. Dress pants are a bit tighter. You're definitely not gonna be able to pull this off. The thing turns sideways. People are gonna look at you like you have something very strange. Uh, growing <laughs> right near it. So I definitely don't recommend using the streak uh, for dress pants here. It's just going to look strange. Uh, you look at something again like the 4.3 inch screen on the Droid X, certainly not as bad. Let's go ahead and mosey the camera up and I'll give you guys uh, hopefully a less uh, pervy angle <laughs> to look at here. 
Okay, so that was sort of a hands, face, and pants look at how the Dell Streak is going to look up to your face and sort of in a variety of situations. Uh, it really was a very popular question that I got, at, that I got asked uh, quite a bit. Hopefully this helps shed a bit of light on it. It's certainly a pocketable device, not the most pocketable device. You may get some strange looks or some good looks depending on where you are, uh, but it's not going to be something you're going to want to carry in your pocket, I don't believe, at all times. Anyway guys, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.